Um, now we travel quick from Asia Pacific to Central America. And here I would like to point out the group of eight countries, the Central American uh, countries, which are Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and Dominican Republic. And they formed uh, the so-called Central American Commission for the Environment and Development. And uh, they um, launched an environmental plan for the Central American region. Uh, it has a short and a long-term goal strategy, uh, which goes all the way now to, to 2010. And they especially care about the prevention and control of pollution and the conservation and sustainable use of natural resources. And the plan was uh, earlier, not, not long ago, was updated and is now, as you can see, extended to 2015 and includes now also solid waste handling and hazardous substances. The objectives of the program include create uh, a waste residue inventory for uh, Central America with potential of commercialization in, in the Dominican Republic and also they try to encourage waste residue and byproduct in that industrial transaction to consolidate agreements between the, the different companies. Um, and more information is available on the CCAD website. This is the website, which is a shared website of all the eight countries. It's very powerful typical for Central America, but I think it's also uh, available in English, not only in Spanish. Argentina, um, they launched uh, a program, a national program uh, regarding sustainable care. And as a member of Mercosur, which is a trading bloc in, in, in South America, they are part of the uh, SAP Working Group 6, which works currently on chemical control and environmental impact of chemical substances in South America. Leader in this group is Brazil, and Brazil adopted already the Responsible Care Program in 1992, um, presented by Abikim. I don't know if some of you maybe are familiar with Abikim. Abikim is the chemical, or let's say, association of the chemical industry in, in Brazil. It's kind of on uh, to uh, to CEFIC in, in Europe. And they have seven codes of practices like process safety, employee safe health and safety, transport and distribution, environmental protection, uh, dialogue with the community. We heard also about uh, uh, talking to the people and understanding the people, which is a very important part of this program. But they also talked about emergency preparedness and response and very important also about product stewardship. Uh, one note regarding Brazil. Brazil will be the first uh, jurisdiction which will uh, introduce next year in 2010 the new GHS system in South America. This is the website of Abikim where you can find more information about the sustainability program and the responsible care program. Uruguay is basically the same. They have an environmental management program and uh, they uh, earlier uh, this year in June they launched a program to regulate industrial solid waste and promote renewable energy programs. They also follow the Mercosur group so they're sitting in there with Argentina and some other countries. For example, Paraguay, they have a cleaner development project running, but also they implemented already uh, sustainable development in their so-called Decree 1428 uh, called Environmental Impact Assessment. They are also a member of the Mercosur Group, also like, uh, like Chile, uh, which uh, has uh, now a, a management program for chemical safety, and they are also discussing in the uh, uh, subgroup 6 of Mercosur the uh, chemical control and environmental impact uh, of uh, substances in South America, especially in Chile. Peru implemented already the Responsible Care Program, and they are also sitting in this subgroup, so they are discussing together with Argentina and Brazil the environmental impact uh, of waste and chemical substances in South America. Uh, interesting here, the committee subsectors um, they, they split it that by product groups. You can see here for some of you interesting cleaning products, but also there is uh, a group called raisins and adhesives. Venezuela has a responsible care program too, but no legislation right now is uh, in place. They just uh, travel all over the country and trying to educate the people and the, um, the businesses regarding responsible care and sustainability. Colombia has a law in place already outlining, for example, the requirements for solid and liquid waste and, 
and they also have in place a national recycling program using a renewable energy, energy strategy. Bolivia is pretty much the same. Um, they take care of contamination prevention, recycling, reuse, recuperation, sustainable development, and they are also sitting together with the other uh, countries in the European working group. Mexico, uh, also interesting, in the last three years, uh, the Mexican government developed the models for chemical control and safety, and they are working together uh, with the help of uh, the US and Canada. Uh, this might be of inter uh, interest for you too, to um, introduce a so-called um, chemical inventory, and uh, similar, um, let's say, to the INEX inventory or the TSCA inventory in, uh, in uh, the United States. And um, they also are working right now on six sustainable programs for their member uh, companies in, in Mexico. So be aware of that. Maybe by next year, in 2010, this inventory might be in place and only substances which are approved by the Mexican government will be allowed on their market value. 